ladies and gentlemen on the Shrek Gaming Silicon video, let us give a driver update concerning AMD's Radeon beta drivers. So, the 14.2s are indeed available, which coincides rather nicely, if I do say so myself, with the release of Thief. So, what exactly do we get with the beta drivers? Well, there's several things that um, AMD have included. So, let's discuss the uh, Windows stuff first. So, as some of you may be aware, Thief is indeed going to be a supporter of AMD's True Audio technology as well as Mantle. Now, by the way, I've done this as an article as well, so you can check that out, which does have some relevant links in there if you want to find some more information. So, with these drivers, it basically readies um, Thief for its update in early March, which will indeed contain the features for True Audio as well as Mantle. So basically, with these new drivers installed, you're going to find that 4K gaming, everything else, is going to be pretty damn fantastic. In addition to that, uh, and moving away from the Thief stuff for a while, if you've been playing Battlefield 4 on AMD's um, Mantle, you may have noticed some lag or frame rate pacing issues, particularly if you're not using an XDMA type of configuration. Hopefully, theoretically, in multi-GPU configurations, this is no longer going to be an issue. Meanwhile, if you are a user of Linux, hi there, SteamOS. The great news is that Linux are, well, going to be pretty well Linux is shall I say not are Linux is going to be pretty well supported um, AMD are indeed improving the XORG, XORG I can't speak suddenly Radian repository uh, which of course is the open source driver for Linux now there are several different improvements here and I'm not certain not going to read out all of them but video code video decode has been vastly improved which is good, and obviously 2D acceleration via the Glamour library now enabled by default. There's substantial improvements to overall video decode uh, transcode times. There's also tiling support now enabled on all GCN-based uh, products, so in other words, random on 7000 and above. Substantial OpenGL feature level upgrades to 4.3, and they've also improved... The dynamic power managements um, with DisplayPort, robustness, power efficiency on all GCN hardware. In addition to all that, there's new programming guides and register specifications released for the 5000, 6000, 7000, as well as the R series, which means that volunteer and professional developers can basically help out and say, hey, you know what, we can help you uh, improve the performance, which is pretty much what Linux is all about. Anyway, pretty short video, I admit, but as I said, I have done an article on this as well, so you could check out the two drivers there, and I've also provided links for Mantle and a few other bits and bobs. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.